make the cappuccino milk bath, you need powdered milk, cornstarch, baking soda, vanilla essential oil, an instant coffee or espresso, and finally you need a cute little bottle. We washed our bottle with hot water and soap and the label came right off. And then we dried it with paper towel. We're gonna to take the lid off and we're gonna spray paint that in a little bit. But first we wanna show you a little trick for removing the sell-by date on the bottle if yours has a sell-by date like that. We're gonna use a nail polish remover pad. And this works like magic. Just take your nail polish remover pad and the, we'll take that sell-by date right off just like that. I've got my recipe here for the cappuccino milk bath. The first thing we're gonna do is add the powdered milk. Now the powdered milk is a little bit, even though it's powdered, it's not really that powdery. It's kind of in little clumps. So we're gonna do a little trick. We want eight tablespoons of this total. So I'm gonna put four tablespoons on a little cutting board. It doesn't really need to be that exact, but you know, try and be, try and measure properly here. That's three. And here's four. Now what we want to do is grind up this powdered milk because it's just not powdery enough. So we're using just a rolling pin on a cutting board and you can see it gets much more powdery as you roll it. That way it'll just dissolve better in, in the tub. Plus it'll look nicer and blend better with our cornstarch and our baking soda. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna get the edges just a little more here. Very good, okay. Oh, it smells yummy already. And now I'm just gonna carefully kind of whisk this into our bowl. It's definitely more powdery. You can see the little milk powder. <laughs> I'm making a mess. That's the fun of it. We wanna do four more tablespoons of our powdered milk. It's one, two, Again, we're just gonna grind this up a little bit. If you have a mortar and pestle, you can use that too. But almost everybody has a rolling pin and cutting board. Okay, and now we'll see if we can do this without making as much of a mess this time. There we go. Almost. Now we're ready to add four tablespoons of baking soda. And because this is a little bit finer, we don't need to grind this up. So we'll do four tablespoons of the baking soda. That's two, three, and four. And now we're ready for our cornstarch. Love this container with the big screw top. It's really handy. So we, again, this is already pretty, pretty powdery, so we don't need to do much in the way of grinding it up. We'll just stir it in when we when we mix this whole whole thing up. That's one, two, three. our cornstarch and now we have our instant coffee and the instant coffee is granulated but it's not powdery so we are going to do the same trick that we did with our powdered milk and that's we're going to grind it up a little bit with the cutting board and a rolling pin and for this we want four tablespoons of the instant coffee so I'm going to do four at once here There we go. And just grind that up. Wow, and that really releases the scent of that coffee. 
That's another reason to grind it up too. It really makes the, the aroma of that cappuccino milk bath is really going to come through. And you can use espresso if you have instant espresso. That's just fine. We happen to have instant coffee in the house, so there we go. That looks great. And now we're going to dump that in too. This is going to give our milk bath a nice color also. And now we're just going to stir this up. And I'm going to mash it just a little bit to get that cornstarch mashed up in here. And you can see the color change already. It's starting to get that pretty cappuccino color. And now we want to add a little bit of a vanilla essential oil because vanilla really makes the coffee scent come through and really makes it smell like cappuccino. Plus essential oil is just a really nice emollient for the skin. So we're going to do five drops of essential oil, and this is vanilla. We're going to do them kind of around the bowl in different spots because that oil can make the, the um, mixture clump up a little bit. So we're kind of spreading it out. And I'm going to use the bottom of my spoon to kind of mash that around so that it blends in and doesn't leave a little lump anywhere. And then just continue to stir until it's completely blended. We're ready to fill up our bottle and we made a little funnel just out of some paper to make decanting this easier. We put that in the top and then we're just using a spoon to kind of spoon it in to our funnel just like that. It smells so good. This is going to make such a nice milk bath. I'm just going to tap it a little bit to get it nice and flat on top and then keep filling it up. And don't worry if it looks like we don't have enough to fill the bottle because we have a little trick to finish off the top. And I'm just going to kind of even out the top here just a little bit with my finger like that. And now we have a cute little trick. We are going to add some of our uncrunched powdered milk to the top, and that's to make it look like foam. I'm going to rotate the bottle here and do the other side too so that it's all the way across the top. And now that looks like a little bit of foam on top. So cute. We spray painted our lid ivory. We're just going to put that on like that. And now we're ready to put on our label. And we designed a cute little label that says cappuccino milk bath. And you can download this off of our website, runningwithsisters.com, and print it out free. And we're going to show you how we're going to put that on the bottle. We've got a little trick. Packing tape. We've cut a piece of packing tape. And we're going to try and get this centered as best we can by just sort of picking it up on the tape like that. And then we're going to set this aside and then we're just going to lay our bottle down and then just wrap the tape around like that. And then my sides got a little bit messed up so I'm just going to pull them back like that and then lay them flat again. You can do that on both sides so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. There we go. How cute is that? Mm -hmm.